Hello everyone, I am Jacob Joseph, Head of Data Science at CleverTap. It is my pleasure to take you through our exciting and industry-first feature, the CleverTap Emotion Editor. In the era where millions of apps are vying for consumers' attention online, it becomes important to craft an engagement strategy that captures the maximum mindshare of consumers. Strong content is an essential piece of the puzzle. It sounds cliche, but content is king, and even more so in this digital era. Great content and marketing messages need to connect with customers at an emotional level. And if the mark is missed, campaigns aren't as effective. Content and creative is the ultimate challenge of data-driven marketing. The emotion editor that we have created combines the creative side of copywriting with the science of human emotions. Dr. Robert Plutchik developed a framework that classifies human emotions into eight categories. That is anticipation, joy, fear, surprise, trust, anger, sadness, and disgust. Removing the emotions of anger, disgust, and sadness, since they are not often used in marketing, we base our model on the remaining five emotions used in marketing copy. That is surprise, trust, anticipation, joy, and fear. Fear in the context of marketing becomes fear of missing out. Hence, we went with FOMO. Now that we had a framework for emotions, the next challenge was to develop a model that is capable of translating messages into emotions. This is where we used a powerful natural language processing model called BERT. BERT is developed by Google. We augmented this model further with our own proprietary algorithm to derive emotions in the marketing copy. Let me take you through a quick demo. The Emotion Editor is a free tool available to anyone at emotions.clevertap.com. Let's look at the example of a retailer who would like to increase the in-store purchase by bringing customers back to the store for a repeat purchase. After a customer purchases an item in the store, the customer receives a push notification or a SMS. We hope you enjoy your purchase. Next time you come in, get 20% off on us. Let's analyze the emotions in this message. This message has approximately 30% joy, 30% trust, 25% FOMO, 13% anticipation and 2% surprise, totaling 100%. Let's look at the trust aspect more closely. All the words in the message jointly contribute towards the 30% trust in the message, but some words have a higher contribution of this percentage. If you hover over the words in green, they have a higher share in the percentage contribution. Removing one word at a time will reduce that specific emotion. The reverse is true for words in red, where removing one word at a time will increase the contribution of that specific emotion. For example, if I hover over 20, I see it as a positive contribution of 6.81%. If I remove 20 from the message, the contribution of trust in the message will drop by 6.81%. Let's check if this is the case. Yes, trust has indeed decreased by 6.81% and its share has come down to 23%. Likewise, you can check the impact of other words and tune your copy. Let's go back to the original message. As per the findings of a recent CMO survey produced by Deloitte, Duke University and the American Marketing Association, Customers prioritize trust in their relationship with businesses over discounts and low prices, which tend to emphasize the emotion of FOMO. Suppose the marketer wants to further increase the trust in the message. Let's change the structure of the message while maintaining its spirit. So glad you stopped by. Thanks for making an in-store purchase. Next time you come in, get 20% off just by showing this message. Let's analyze this uh, the emotions from this message. 
this message increased the share of trust by 26% to 56% approximately while maintaining almost the same amount of joy and reducing FOMO. You see this tool was built to make it easy for content writers to optimize the mix of emotions and create compelling messages. But what about long form copy? This tool can be used not only for SMS messages, email subject lines and push notifications, but also longer content like email body and social media posts. It doesn't matter if you have a four word message or a 4000 word message. The emotion contribution is calculated for the entire message. Inside this tool currently, the impact of individual words on emotions are shown only for the first 40 words because as the copy gets longer, group of words and phrases may have more impact rather than individual words. The emotion analysis of phrases is under development. In the retail example discussed here, the intention was to emphasize trust to build a meaningful relationship with customers. But what if you were more curious about how your customers respond to different emotions? Trust was selected based on an informed guess. There was still intuition in this decision. Is there a way to make the choice of which emotion to emphasize by being more data driven? Yes, it is possible. Discover what emotions work best with your customers based on your past campaigns with a completely free and custom report. Just click on get my free report and upload your past campaigns in a CSV with two columns, a text column which contains the message and the CTR column. You can swipe out values of CTR or click through rate with number of likes, shares or any other metric associated with the copy. Let's look at the sample report so you can get a sense of insights that are included. So we have the sample report downloaded. This report was generated from a sample of 40 campaigns. On average, the past messages contain 35% FOMO, 20% joy, followed by 17% anticipation and trust, with the lowest 10% contribution by surprise. In 15 out of 40 messages, FOMO was the primary or the dominant emotion. Now this is where it gets really interesting. The insights over here reveal that CTR of joy is 10% higher than the average CTR. For example, if your email open rate on average is 20%, the open rate for email subject lines with more joy could increase your average open rates and take it to 22%. That is an increase of 10%. The takeaway here is to increase joy in messages to increase the email engagement. Some of the other insights in the report include Phrases that increase a particular emotion. The best and the worst performing phrases by CTR. Messages that evoke an emotion the most. With the insights in this detailed report, you can create more compelling messages that resonate emotionally with your audience and impact your KPIs. We are hearing great things from customers trying out this tool. And I want to tell you how it fits into our bigger vision. How will this capability work inside the CleverTap platform? In the detailed report, you could see how emotions could be optimized across all your customers. But what if you could know what emotions work at an individual customer level? You could create five variations, one for each of the five emotions, and each individual will receive a variant based on her emotional preference in a completely automated manner. To conclude, I would like to leave you with a finding of a recent study that states, you have only two seconds to engage consumers online. No matter who you are, human beings cannot make rational decisions in such a short amount of time. This alone highlights how important connecting with emotion is. Thank you.